Hard to stay focused in a lockdown, but that doesn't mean that you should just toss your goals out the window. Personal concierge Tara Stubbins joins us now with tips on how to set goals and stick to them. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you virtually as well. Your number one tip is, is to just set one goal this year. Yes, set one goal. I know a lot of people say set a goal for personal, set a goal for business, maybe for the family. But, you know, 2020 was hard. 2021 is probably going to be just as hard. So, you know, set yourself up for success and set one goal that you can stick to. Write it down. Try to break it down into tasks that you can manage and put it on your calendar so you can really work towards that goal every single day. Right. And it should be like a big, broad ranging goal or something very focused and narrow. It can be anything that you think that you can um, succeed at. So, you know, again, 2020 was hard. 2021 is hard. We need to give ourselves a little, uh, you know, allowance, a little flexibility. And that's actually another one of my tips is to be flexible. The people that um, have the best goal setting um, that can achieve them the most are the ones that can be flexible with their goals. They're the ones that have a plan A, plan B, plan C, and they're the ones who actually sit down and can really look at how they're uh, achieving their goals throughout the year. So I suggest sitting down quarterly and seeing where you are. And, you know, maybe you need to pivot a little bit as well. Okay, and don't compare uh, your, what your situation is with anybody else, especially on social media, right? Because you're only seeing their best side. Exactly. That's something that we talk about every year. It's something that I'm sure everyone has heard. But really, really, please don't compare yourself to what you see um, on social. And, you know, everyone's path towards their goals are different. And really, everyone is, you know, working at their own pace. And what you see on social is really the best of what people are putting out and not really what's happening behind the scenes. Yes, Another very really curated. Big, <laughs> exactly. Another really big piece of advice that I have is, you know, that goals, people think that goal setting is canceled this year, but it's not. It really isn't canceled. You know, we can take the time to, um, you know, have our goals, to set our goals. Actually, it's interesting. January 17th, which is coming up, is National Ditch Your New Year's Resolution Day. So it's where everyone has consciously or subconsciously decided that, you know, their New Year's resolutions aren't for them. Um, so really, yeah, try to not have that happen to you this year and really be proactive at setting your goals. I like your next tip to look back on last year and, and learn something from it. Like for me, I look back at 2020 and think, I wasn't worried about what the house looked like because nobody's coming over. <laughs> <laughs> that was my exactly. favorite thing. <laughs> We talked about the holidays and not really yeah. having to clean, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's true. You know, a lot of my clients have said that they've really enjoyed uh, being able to have family time and have, con like, internal family, the ones that live at home yes. with you, yes. and have um, conversations and really get back to having family dinners. I um, help a real housewife in California, and, you know, she was always saying that um, her family was going every which way and they could never sit down and read connect and you know 2020 has really helped them be able to do that so if you've enjoyed having family dinners or reconnecting with your family in 2020 maybe you can make that an even bigger goal for 2021 and, and your last one is to only control what you can control Absolutely. So one of my favorite entrepreneurs of all time is Richard Branson. And mm -hmm. this is his number one piece of advice for goal setting. And I stick to it, too. So, you know, my big bucket list for somewhere down the road goal is to have a B&B &B somewhere in, you know, Nicaragua or Costa Rica or Belize or somewhere like that. So maybe 2021 isn't the year for me to really go after that goal because of travel and and all of that. But I can table that and I can make a goal for 2021 that is realistic for me that I can really actually try to work towards and really achieve. Okay, some awesome tips there. Quick, we've got 30 seconds. What's your New Year's resolution for this year? Uh, your one well, goal. I my one goal is to actually reconnect a little bit more with my family. Last year, I focused completely on business, and this year, I want to focus a little more on family. Okay, good luck with that. Always Thank great to talk to you, Tara.
We'll get the uh, information up on our website, chch.com.